Hey guys, Puppy back in today, another episode of Old Guys and Old Games. And this is a very special one because this is the latest in television homebrew release that's being released as a campaign, and it's Ghostbusters Ultimate Edition. Uh, you can order your cartridge only copy today uh, from gb.orders2024 at gmail.com. I'll put the address down at the bottom, I'll have it at the end too on the screen. Uh, if you're looking to order your copy, uh, because this is a very special one. They're going to be releasing it cartridge only, uh, $70 US. You email that address to order. And then if there are 100 sales, if the campaign reaches its goal, uh, the rest of the physical components will be available. Uh, manual overlays, cartridge, and also everybody who purchases it will get a digital copy if it reaches its goal. So it's really neat. Uh, a uh, really neat little campaign here for this game. But most importantly, let's talk about the game itself, which is a port of the 1984. Uh, Ghostbusters were from 1984, right? But the Commodore 64 release, where you play as, what is it, Peter Venkman and, and Ray and Egon, and you bomb around the city uh, trying to capture ghosts uh, and prevent the Stay Puft Marshall, Marshmallow Man from destroying different city blocks. And finally... Uh, from uh, uh, Gozer taking over the city. So uh, really happy to be able to bring this game to you today to show it. Uh, you'll see the music, the graphics, uh, the gameplay itself is, is just a lot of fun. So I guess without any further ado, uh, we'll have more information. Don't forget to check out the announcement video with lots of detail on the release and of the program and of the, the campaign of, of reaching 100 units sold and and uh, all the details are in that one. Plus, there'll be a pure gameplay video coming on this as well in the very near future. So, anyway, guys, without any further ado, let's play a little bit of Ghostbusters. Here we go. All right, the first thing you might notice, guys, is this looks a little bit different than the normal Ultimate Flashback screen because this is an ECS mode. Uh, this game will work on your regular Intellivision or it will work and give you some enhanced music with the ECS attached. So I'm in ECS mode, like it's just as simple as going like this on there. I have it uh, on my Intellivision as well in that folder, but we're going to play it in the ECS mode. And uh, man, yeah, it's beautiful. So remember, I'm going to give the ordering information uh, at the end of the video once again. Uh, let's take a look. Here we go. All right. Great music in this game. I'll let it play a bit. There's Ray. And there's Egon. Do you experience feelings of dreary dismay? Have you or any of your family ever seen a spook, specter, or ghost? If the answer is yes, then don't wait another minute. Pick up your phone and call the professionals. And there's Peter Brinkman. Ghostbusters! Nice. I love that sound clip. And of course, it plays through the tune as well. I'm not going to let it go too far into it, uh, but it's pretty neat, really. Uh, very, very well done. We'll hear lots of the music during the gameplay as well. So, but uh, it's going to come up. I'll let it come up with the with the titles or the the what do you call it? the transcript down at the bottom, the subtitles. Love it. It goes through the whole song too, so it's beautiful. But anyway, on that note, let's play a little bit here and it even lets you put in your own name save your games it's kind of like save your game it's all password uh oriented but we're gonna to form a franchise please state your name last first well i'm just gonna have papa pete so let's see i've done it a few times now all right uh i want to space All right, we got it. Oh, shoot. I could back up, though, by hitting clear. And we'll go there. All right. Enter. Do you have an account? I'm just going to put in no. We'll see how we start here. In that case, welcome to your new business. The bank will advance you $10,000. Use it wisely. It's pretty rough. I got to make that back, right? Hmm. Let's see. So I gotta suit out my car here. I'll just take the hearse. And we're gonna take uh, the different I have nine slots, fifty two hundred dollars. I need the only thing I have to have is, is our traps. So I'm gonna take three traps. I want ghost bait for sure. 
I'm going to take a vacuum. Let's go back to the other screen. I guess I could take all those, too. I'm going to take them. What the heck? Now, the goal of the game is to get back so I can pay all my money. Uh, pay the money back to the bank by the end of the game. So let's see if we can succeed. I don't know if I will or not, but we're going to go in. Great cutscenes in this as well. All right, guys, those ghosts are not going to bust the, uh, bust themselves. Remember, we owe the bank $10,000, so that's my goal. Flat, flashing red. Always push towards it when you get uh, when you get up to it. We'll get her over here on my big screen, too, when I'm playing. Trying to capture this guy. Got him. All right. So that's where I'm, I'm earning my money back. A little bit at a time. 400. We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. And then here I can touch them. They'll stop going towards the middle because that, I think that brings out the marshmallow man at a certain point or brings up your peak. See my PK is climbing. When it hits 10,000, it's basically game over. I have to have gotten my money back by then. Well, I should go over all four of them, I think, on this trip. The vacuum is pretty powerful, too. Yeah, we got all four, and now we'll go to the building to try to capture that uh, Slimer, I guess. I got, like I say, I got to build myself back up to 10,000 points. Or $10,000, I should say. Patience. Ah! Thought I had him. That's great. Actual physical contact, which actually it sucks because I. I. Oh, I could have gone up and around to touch that last one too, but I didn't. Of course, you buy different vehicles, they cost more, but they're faster, right? You get to the buildings quicker. Every time, like, you fail to capture the ghost, like I did on the last screen, your PK number goes up 300. So, not the best thing in the world to do to miss them. It, it does hurt quite a bit. Got him. All right, that's good. 800 for that one. That was a good good one. A class 5 full roaming vapor. Sometimes I wish... Oh, okay. Oh, that purple. I have that sensor. That means it's going to come out there next. That's going to be the next one. There it goes. So I should get two of the ghosts with the vacuum. Perfect. Now it should get there pretty soon here. tricked it because I just I didn't have it in between I timed it as it was coming towards my uh, my beams so that's good all right now that's a, the reason that turned purple and showed me that that was going to be the next one was uh, frankly uh, some of the equipment that I bought at the beginning that's all described in the manual as well uh, so we're really hoping to get to that 100 sale because that will get you full color manual if you want to buy the rest of the physical components to go with it so oh no traps so i have to go back to the headquarters area because i've caught three ghosts already right i only have three traps <laughs> here we go i only had three traps so i have to go empty my traps you also have to go back if you cross your streams by mistake uh you short out your backpacks you have to go back to charge up or if you get slimed twice you don't have enough men to run both Gozer was very big in Sumeria. So unfortunately, this takes a little bit of time. I wish I had just gone there right after I was done that last uh, pickup. Or capture, I guess I should say. But... There, that's not very far away. 
All right, here we go. Let's get him. Oh. Oh, probably should have done it right there. Got him. Perfect. 900, too. That's a good one. Nice. Oh, up here. Oh, get that in there. Okay, there we go. So I'm up to 3,000. I was down to 500, so I've got 2,500 already. That's pretty good, actually. I got a pretty good start. But I find that these do get tricky. Capture, like, sometimes it's quite easy, but man, I, I struggle with it sometimes, too. We got him. Ghostbusters! 700 for that one. Where is he coming next? Oh, there's where it's going to be. So I'll go right in there now. And we're all ready to go. Perfect. And we're there. Let's capture him. Beautiful. Going really well. Listen, this is better than I know a thousand too. That's awesome. We are the Ghostbusters. Stop those who just as they are getting to the Zool Tower. Oh, I have no traps. I gotta go back. What am I waiting for? I, my traps are all full. Wow. So that wastes a little bit of time there and the PK meters ticking up. All right, so we gotta go back, empty the traps, uh, refresh the men, charge up the backpacks, and we're ready to go again. The key master is looking for the gatekeeper. And that's what the key and the in the lock are buzzing around our, our uh, buzzing around the city as I go. It's not a bad spot here. Pretty close by. Should get one ghost off the screen. There we are. Let's get him. Oh. Ah! We got some more voice that goes in there too sometimes. Hopefully we'll get to hear it. But see, I lost one man, so if I get slimed again, I have to go back to G uh, to the headquarters to refresh the men. That was a little bit impatient that time, I would say. All right, patience. Let him come down and get in the middle. Oh, I did it again. I trick, did that little trick where I just waited till he was coming towards. And 900, that's great. A non-terminal repeating phantasm. So I've still got two traps, so I don't need to. All right. 951 is really good for my PK at this point. Considering how much money I pay. Oh, way over here. I can get by that. I should be able to get all four of the ghosts that are on screen, too. One. Son of Oh, I got it. Whoa, way over there again. Three. All four. All right, let's get some money. Got him! Wow, I, I, it's going really well. A thousand! A thousand! That's great! What are my traps like? I think I've got one trap left. And, okay. So 
So after this, I gotta remember, if I capture it, I have to go straight back to the uh, headquarters. That was easy. All right, here we go. Oh! Can you move? All right, I gotta go back to, there's no men, so I gotta go back to HQ no matter what. Ghostbusters headquarters. We're still doing pretty good. So I'll refresh my traps, refresh my men, and give me full power in my backpack. All right, here we go. It was flashing right beside me. Hopefully it's still there. We've just started here. Here we go. Yep, we got him. Down here. Got it. Ghostbuster. Only three under that time, but we've gotten some good numbers so far. All right, go. Give me a red one here. There it is. I can circle up around this way. All right, here we go. So we'll be able to get three of them. Three ghosts. You don't get any points or money for the ghosts that you pick up, but it just supposedly takes away from, keeps the Stay Puff, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man from coming out. Now you'll probably see, as I get up to five 5,000 in the uh, PK, I will get a message in this. Marshmallow Man will start to come out, but I'm also prepared for that. Yes, got it. Didn't think 800's really freaking good. All right, let's get over there. I'm very happy with the score so far. This one, this is well, probably about the best I've ever done playing this game so far. I haven't, I haven't beaten it yet, that's for sure. But Nice. Ghostbusters. That one's going to be it right down here. I got no traps. I'm going to go back to GHQ anyway. I just sort of looked over there, realized I only didn't have any traps. The structure of Zool's roof cap is very unusual. Eighty-two hundred, I have. Just across the street, should not have to go very far. There we go. After that one that was flashing for quite a while though occasionally if you wait too long they'll be gone before you get there so we'll see hopefully it's still there when i get there it is nice
one trap left too. Oh, get over there. There we go. Oh. Oh. He slimed me. He slimed me. Love that voice clap. All right, where are we going? I got one trap left. Two men. Oh, it's going to be down here. I should be able to go here and push down, too. And it should go to that red block. Yep, it did. Nice. 900, I got my 10,000 back now. That's awesome. Now we're just going for points now. Like, going to be able to pay the bank back anyway. Oh, no traps. I just friggin', I knew that. That's just not paying attention. All right, so have a couple more of those. Get back to Ghostbusters headquarters. Oh, barely got that one. All right. Are we approaching Judgment Day? Be me. In the green now, so longer in the red. All right, here we go. That was right before I got there. There was a ghost right beside the building I was going to, so. Get down here, get down here. Wow. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Oh, changed on me. Starting to scroll. The PK starting to go up a little bit quicker now. Traps left too. I gotta check my traps so I go back out. Ah, wow. Ghostbusters. One trap left. We're going right here because, oh, whether I get it or not, I gotta uh, go back to GHQ afterwards. We'll get it. Let's get it. Oh! He slimed me. Ah. All right. The destructor is coming. Now, I guess I still have that trap, and I still have two men, so I can go here. If I, whether I capture him or not, I gotta go back to headquarters after this one. Watch it! Oh no! I crossed the beams, cross the streams. Fortunately, the backpack sorted out. So now, if you ever do that, doesn't matter what situation it is, you have to go back to GHQ. So, here we go. The Destructor is coming. The Stay Puff Marshmallow Man can come out and destroy city blocks, too, at this point. But I bought Ghost Bait.
Oh, that that's what that white one means. That's where he, he's going. The Stay Puft Marshmallow Man is going to attack that spot. I gotta be ready when I come out of this building. And you lay the ghost bait by hitting the zero. Ah, oh, we got it. Perfect. Ghostbusters! Thousand, too. That was awesome. Yeah, it hasn't come out yet. Look at that. It's really climbing up there, though, the PK number. Oh, wow. We're hot. Expected the marshmallow man to come out, he didn't come. All right, let's catch it. All right, you got it. Wow. Here we go. Now there's some money to be made by having the ghost. Go uh, the there, and I hit my zero button, and it brings instead of stomping down on the uh, the city block where you lose like four grand, I gain two thousand dollars that way. I have no traps, but I got to go to Zool anyway. Hit ten thousand. Here we go. Goes of the Gozerian. All right, sneak two men past and close the portal. I gotta get my men in past. There's one. Two. Close the portal. There it is. Great cutscenes in this too. The freaking awesome cutscenes. Gozer is gone. A portal to the spirit world has been closed. You earn a five thousand dollar reward from the city. And you made more money than you started with, so the bank will raise your credit limit to $20,300. So what that means is I could play, I could get a new account number, I write down that account number, go ahead and write it down, I guess, and uh, you could use that number for future play, and you'll start with $20,300. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's kind of neat, right? So you could build up, build up, build up. Now, when you go and you buy the more expensive cars or whatever like that, or different equipment, Remember, you have that much more money that you have to build back up in order to beat the game. So it makes it more and more challenging. So, uh, but really friggin' cool. So I think that's it. It just will roll over now or hit the button here. Game over. That's it. That is Ghostbusters Ultimate Edition. Uh, that was the best game of that I've ever played in my life. And it rolls back over through this. So let's get back over to the other screen here. And uh, right on. We'll go from there. And that is awesome. So, guys, that is Ghostbusters Ultimate Edition. Again, available now. Uh, the email address to send is right down here at the bottom. Okay. Uh, email them if you have any questions. Email them if you want to make your order. And, again, it's $70 U.S., which includes your shipping uh, for the cartridge-only release of Ghostbusters Ultimate Edition. However, it's part of a campaign that if they reach the, their goal of 100 sales, you will then have the option, everybody will be contacted, you will have the option of paying $20 to receive a box, manual, and overlays to go with it to have a complete inbox set. Uh, 
it's an option. You don't have to do that. You could just leave it and you'll just get your cartridge for your original $70. But if we do reach the goal, if the goal of 100 is set is reached, you will also get a ROM copy of the game, an unprotected ROM that's also watermarked though with the individual names of the people who uh, supported the campaign. So, um, yeah, again, I really can't answer any more questions than that. Right to this address right down here below if you have any other questions and uh, hopefully they'll be able to, to answer them but uh, anyway guys uh it's a it's a fun game to play uh i had a better game that time than i ever normally do which is sort of weird because normally it's the other way around when i do these videos but uh anyway guys thanks a lot for spending a little bit of time with me here today at old guys and old games uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe order your copy of ghostbusters ultimate edition and we will see you next time you take Papa care P, Papa P, the old ass gamer P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. if you haven't grown up by the age of i'm rick reynolds of the intellivisionaries podcast and you're watching papa pete the old guy gamer